Hi everyone, I'm super excited for today's pop figure review because we are reviewing my favorite video game character of all time, and that's Sly Cooper. <laughs> So a little bit about Sly Cooper if you don't already know him. He comes from a long line of Master Thieves. He is a Master Thief himself. He's a raccoon. Um, when he was a child, his father was killed in front of him before he could undergo his training as a thief. And uh, the good thing about the Cooper gang is that they only steal from other thieves. It's like Robin Hood, but instead of giving to the poor, he's more like stealing to prove a point, basically. Just to prove that he's like better than other thieves. It's really cool. And it's definitely something you wouldn't expect out of like, quote unquote, a kid's game. You know, with the main character being kind of a criminal. Basically a criminal. And then something else to note is that Sly Cooper uh, came out during the early 2000s. Actually, he was one of PlayStation's big three mascots during the early 2000s. Uh, back when platforming was a huge thing, but unfortunately I would have to say that Sly Cooper is the least well-known out of the big three The big three being Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper But with the revival of Ratchet and Clank and Crash Bandicoot, I'm holding out hope for Sly Especially since we just got this pop figure. If you're wondering how I got a hold of this Basically, I pre-ordered it from GameStop considering this is a GameStop exclusive pop figure um, I'm pretty sure you can only ever get it from GameStop <laughs> And I do have to say, GameStop sent me like an awesome, nice quality box for this. Like this, this thing is almost flawless. But without further ado, let's get into unboxing this. As you know, the best way to open pop figures is to just slide a card under it and then just pop it out. Open it right like that. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I buy so many Marvel and Star Wars pops that I often forget that pop figures aren't bobbleheads all the time. And plus they just look like bobbleheads anyway. But this guy is actually kind of huge, low key. Like he's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. There he is right there up close. Look at that. So if we're gonna start off with the ratings, faithfulness being the first one, I would give this a 10 out of 10. If you told me you were making a Sly Cooper pop, the number one thing I would ask is, is he holding the cane? If you don't know, uh, that cane is basically like his family's like heirloom. It's like, it's not really an heirloom because it's not passed on. It's more like they make their own each generation. Uh, but that's like Sly's iconic thing. You know, Captain America has his shield, Thor has his hammer, Sly Cooper has his cane. Literally everything is pretty much perfect in terms of all the items he has from his backpack to, you know, his hat, his mask and everything like that. Everything is there. Literally everything is there. So I would say, again, faithfulness is 10 out of 10. Next up for the ratings is sculpt slash pose. And for this, I would probably give it a 9.5 to a 10 out of 10. This is iconic Sly. You know, you put someone into this pose you know, assuming they, they're familiar with Sly Cooper, there's a good chance that Sly Cooper is going to come up in their mind. And then uh, something else that's worth noting is that Sly wears a mask, even though he's a raccoon. It's just funny that he does that. His The back of his mask is blowing in the wind, basically showing that he's, you know, up high because he's literally always perched on high little points or like ledges or whatever, because that's like Sly's thing. That's what makes it a platformer. You're always you know, on these really sharp points and you're just jumping from one point to another. You just look at how his hands and legs are. It's just, it's exactly how Sly would do it. This is super faithful. This is probably one of the top three poses that Sly does. The only other thing that I would think that would be like just as iconic is literally just him like sneaking around, like tiptoeing type. But yeah, definitely, this is, this is awesome. The only reason I would probably dock um, 0.5 of a point from the sculpt for this is because very similar to many of the Star Wars pop figures that have like lightsabers, they end up getting bent and you can kind of see that the cane is not totally straight in his hand. Uh, that's the only thing I would dock off points for. And lastly, we have overall enjoyment. So I think you can already tell by now through this video is that 
I am insanely biased towards Sly Cooper. But yeah, no. But if you are a fan of Sly Cooper, you know how difficult it is to find Sly Cooper merch or like anything Sly Cooper related, let alone a figure. I remember there was like this really expensive Sly Cooper basically bust or statue that was supposed to come out, then it got delayed or then it sold out or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what happened to that. I just knew I was in middle school at the time and I would not be able to afford like a really expensive statue like that just for Sly Cooper, even though I love Sly Cooper so much. Uh, but this is like an awesome alternative, especially if you collect pop figures already. And if not, you know, if you're just a fan of Sly Cooper, but you don't collect pop figures, this is definitely worth it. Because, like I said, it's so hard to find Sly Cooper merch. Here, l let me show you something. Right here, right here. This is the thing. <clears throat> this is Cole Sling Pack from Infamous 2. This is what you get for buying like the collector's edition or whatever of the game. I bought this collector's edition just for this, but not because it's Cole's bag, but because he has the Sly Cooper emblem as a patch on the bag. That's literally the only, only reason why I'm like, that's Sly Cooper. I need it because Sucker Punch makes both games. But that's literally how desperate... The, the, this is like the this is the only piece of Sly merch that I own. Th this is it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give enjoyment 10 out of 10 on this because literally, if you love Sly Cooper, you need to get this pop figure because it's like your only option out there. There's there's literally nothing else. They don't make T-shirts of him. I think they probably did at one point, um, but just nowadays, especially, it's insanely hard to find something like this. So. That's my overall review on average. That would give him an overall score of 10 out of 10. Again, I am biased, but, uh, you know, trying to be unbiased, you know, comparing this to like the regular pop figure pose, the one where they're just like standing around. I know Funko is getting a little bit better at trying to make the poses more unique for each pop figure. Um, but overall, again, I would say 10 out of 10. And thanks for watching. Bye.